ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस 27 प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 14 हिमलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द फ्लाई कार इज अ राइट एट एन अम्यूजमेंट पार्क व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ कार हैविंग व्हील्स दैट रोल अलोंग अ ट्रैक माउंटेड इनसाइड अ रोटेटिंग ड्रम बाय डिजाइन द कार कैन नॉट फॉल ऑफ द ट्रैक हाउएवर Uh, motion of the car is developed by the applying the car's brake thereby gripping the car to the track and allowing it to move with a constant speed on the track so this flying car um, applies the brake and it moves with the track right so it attains the velocity of the track and the velocity of the track is given this is the velocity of the track is 3 meter per second so it is said that if the rider applies the brake when going from b to e from b to a so the rider applies the brake at point b until a and then releases it at the top of the drum a so that the car co- goes freely down along the track to b right so it keeps the uh, the pedal of the brake uh, until point a and then it releases that pedal right so what uh, the, the velocity of this car at point a will be equal to the velocity of the track and then it releases the brake at point a so it moves to that point b so in the problem statement we are required to determine the speed of the car at b so we are required to find the velocity at b the velocity at a will be equal to the velocity of the track which is 3 meter per second so we have to find the velocity of this flying car at point b when it releases the brake at point a and further it is said that also determine the normal reaction which drum exerts on the car at b so we have to find the normal force on this car at b so the normal force on the car at b is also required so to find that vb we have to apply the work energy principle so the work energy principle says that the kinetic energy at point a plus the work done due to the external forces on this flying car from a to b the summation of all the work done due to the external forces from a to b will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so now if we solve this problem by the normal and tangential coordinates so uh, here we will have that tangential axis this will be our tangential axis and this is the towards the center of the circle will be the normal axis so as we know that its weight is going to act downward its weight is going to act like this and the normal force of the track is acting like this this is the normal force so as we can see that if we consider this motion in the normal and tangential coordinates so the car is not moving along the normal axis so it is only moving in the tangential axis so this normal is not doing any work since the this the this the displacement covered is along the tangential direction so this n is perpendicular to that displacement uh which this flying car travels so the n is not going to do any work only the weight is going to do that work so now we can write that the kinetic energy at point a will be 1 divided by 2 mass of the car is 250 so this is the kinetic energy of half into mass times the velocity at a square so the velocity at a is 3 so we have to take the square of 3 plus the work done due to the weight so the work done due to the weight equals to the kinetic energy at b so the kinetic energy at b is 1 divided by 2 times the mass times we b square and now as we know that the work done due to the weight is always equal to the weight times change in the vertical position so now this car moves from a to b so the distance traveled along the vertical direction this is that distance traveled this is the diameter of this track right so the diameter of the track is a the radius is 8 so the diameter is 16 so the change in the vertical position of the car is 16 so we will write that the weight is 250 times 9.81 times delta y delta y is 16 and as we can see that since the car is moving from a to b so the weight is acting vertically downward and it is moving also in the downward direction along the vertical so this means that the work done due to the weight is the positive work 250 into 3 square divided by 2 this is 1125 1125 plus the work done due to the weight so let me calculate this 
This is 250 into 250 into 9.81 into 16. So this is 39,240 and this is 250 divided by 2. This is 125 Vb squared. So if we divide both sides as equation by 125, so that will give us Vb square and if we take the square root that will give us the velocity of that flying car at point B. So Vb is 1125 plus 39,240 divided by 125. So the velocity at B is 17.97. 17.97. Now at point B, we are required to find the normal force as well. So the normal force is acting in the positive end direction at this particular instant. This is this is our normal axis and this will be our tangential axis. So the weight is going to act vertically downward. The weight is acting like this. This is the weight and this is the normal force. So now if we apply the equation of motion in the normal direction, that is the summation of forces along the normal direction. So, this will be equal to m times a n. So, we can write that n is acting in the positive n direction. So, I will write n minus the weight. So, weight is 250 times 9.81 into mass times the acceleration in the n direction. So, the mass is 250 and a n is since we are considering this car at point b, we want to find the normal uh, force that is applied by the trach at B. So, we have to take that velocity at point B. So, this will be Vb square divided by rho and rho is the radius of the trach, right? So, rho is 8 and we know Vb which is 17.97. This is 17.97 square and if I bring this term to the other side, so this will become positive. So, this is 250 into 9.81. So, this will be the, the n value which is required at point B. So, 250 into 17.97 square divided by 8 plus 250 into 9.81. So, this is 12,543.7. So, let us say this is 12,544. 12, Newton. Or we can say that this is 12.544 kilonewton. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.